What up, Ignite? Welcome back to Tuesdays with Zay. I'm excited because we've learned so much this month. Let's get in to what responsibility means. All month long, we've been talking about what's expected of you. Homework, chores, feeding your pets, making your bed, getting to bed on time, waking up on time all these things that we are expected to do. And you wanna know something really cool that we talked about in service? Since you're watching online, you may have missed this, but somebody made up a really good point. You don't only affect yourself by being responsible. Your responsibility or irresponsibility affects everyone else around you, right? One of their responsibilities is to feed their dog. Your dog is expecting you to be responsible because what happens if you're irresponsible and don't feed your dog? Bad things could happen, right? We don't have to get into those things, what'll happen if you don't feed your dog, right? But that just goes to show that your responsibility, people depend on that. It's not just you. If you're responsible, you're not the only one that benefits. If you're irresponsible, you're also not the only one affected. Your responsibility affects everyone else around you. And with God's help, we can be responsible every day. Going above and beyond, God can help you to do that. And all month long, we've been talking about being responsible, but today, we're gonna talk about using your words wisely, being responsible with what you say, but not only what you say, but also how you say it. People can misunderstand people all the time. I know a lot of you have phones now, and if you don't have a phone, you play video games online all the time. Have you ever sent a message that got misunderstood? Or have you ever gotten a message that you misunderstood? It's very easy to do through text, but it's also easy to do in person. Misunderstandings happen all the time, so it's very important for us to use our words wisely. We have a responsibility to use words that build people up or encourage each other or encourage people, right? That is our responsibility, right? Because think about it. Remember, responsibility is being trusted with what is expected. Don't you expect people to build you up and encourage you? You don't expect somebody to say, oh, you're no good at that. Just give up, don't try, don't even try. No, you expect people to say, you got this, you can do it. That means we need to think before we speak. We need to take a second before we say something that we might regret. Have you ever gotten in an argument with somebody? A disagreement? You might be very angry, you might be in your emotions, you might be thinking, oh, how could this person do this to me? How could this person say this to me? And then you, out of emotion or anger, say something that you didn't mean. You might say something really mean to somebody, and then the next day, or a couple of days later, or even, even maybe a couple minutes later, you might say, oh man, I shouldn't have said that, that was really mean. In those moments, we have a responsibility to take a step back and think before we say those things. So if you need an example of what that looks like, what it means to use your words wisely, that actually takes us right to our bottom line, which is use your words wisely. Four words, use your words wisely. It's very simple. It's not easy, but with the help of God, it becomes easier and easier over time. God can help you to use your words wisely. And if you need an example, of a person who did just that, Jesus. He used his words wisely. Do you think Jesus spoke to rich people the same as he spoke to poor people? Do you think Jesus spoke to people who, who believed in God the same as he spoke to people who didn't believe in God? Let me take it more to your level. Are you gonna talk to one of your friends that believes in God the same as you talk to one of your friends who doesn't? Probably not. Your friend who believes in God, you can say, Hey, remember in the Bible when in, in Matthew or in Luke? Or do you remember, you know, what it said in Corinthians about, you know, the, the, the fruits of the Spirit or whatever? Somebody who doesn't believe in God might not understand what you're talking about or might not understand what you're saying fully if you're talking to them in the same way as a friend that you would talk to that believes in God, right? And Jesus did the same thing. He used his words wisely. He met people where they were at, depending on their social status, depending on their their experience, their thought process. He was wise with his words and he used his words, help them to build their relationship with God. He explained what was true about God in a way people could understand. He talked to people differently. That takes us to our basic truth, 
which is make the wise choice. Every day we have a choice. Do I act in a responsible way? Do I use my words wisely? Or do I use my anger? Do I use my emotion? I'm really, I'm really mad, mad right, right now. now. This, this person, person really, really hurt, hurt me. me. Do I act out? Or do I say, God, please help me to use my words wisely. Help me to do what you do. Help me to do what you did, right? Do I, you have a choice every day to be responsible or to not be responsible. You know, act in love or act in, in hate. You have a choice every single day. I have a choice. Again, use my words wisely, right? I'm talking to you right now. I have a choice about what to say and how to say it. I have to do what Jesus did and meet you where you are with the help of God, right? I'm not just doing this by myself. I asked God to help me to do this. And guess what? When you make the choice to use your words wisely, you're showing other people that you know how to be responsible. And like we talked about last week and the week before and the week before, the more responsible you are, the more trust you build with people, the more people can trust you. And if you want to be a light for Jesus, if you want to bring people to Jesus and show all the great things that Jesus can do right there, be responsible so people can trust you. And that is it for our responsibility series. I'm so excited for you to take everything that we've talked about over these last five weeks and bring it to people, bring it out into the world, bring it to your school, bring it home, bring it to your extracurricular activities, okay? That's it for today with Tuesdays with Zay, but don't go anywhere because we will be back, I will be back next Tuesday with Zay for our next topic, and I'm so excited. God bless, Ignite, I will see you next week.